get out your 100 chart that you did for me just a little bit ago. And we're going to use it now for the lesson we're about to do. So make sure it's in front of you so when we get ready to use it, it'll already be there. Good. Okay. Remember how we were learning to count by tens, and we know the easiest way. We can all do that. Count with me. No, no, no. Ten. chart we're going to do and what we're going to do today is if we locate a number we want to do 10 less and 10 more we're going to watch just a little bit of a video to help us remember what we're doing okay let's listen to a hi and welcome to today's hi. first grade flip classroom video today's video is talking about finding 10 more than a number or 10 less than a number using a 100 chart. If you take a look at my 100 chart, you will see that I have highlighted the number 45. If I wanted to find what 10 less than 45 would be, I could use my 100 chart and simply count back 10 squares. Let's try that. Starting at 45, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, is that the easiest way to go? Uh, no. Really. Our book shows a much easier way. Let me see if I can speed it up just a tiny bit. Please. Yeah. Starting at 45. One. Let's see if that's it. At 55, which is 10 more than 45, is right below 45 on the 100 chart. This pattern or this trick can help you to use the 100 chart to find what 10 more than a number or 10 less than a number would be. Let's use tens and ones blocks to help us check our work. If you look at the number 45, four is in the tens place meaning that there are four tens. So if I wanted to know what 10 less than 45 would be, I would take away a 10. Now that there's three tens, that would be 35, just like when I used the 100 chart and counted back and got 35. If I wanted to check what 10 more would be, I would have to add another 10. Five tens and five ones is 55 just like on the 100 chart when it told us that 55 was 10 more than 45. Okay, now that goes with our place value. We learned once and we learned 10. So she showed us three different ways to do it. And we had already learned and we figured out on our own that the easiest way was to look at our number chart can y'all see? No. Okay, let's take let's work, let's review what we did the other day. I'm gonna start right here with 29. Okay, 29. I want you to tell me, Zylo, what is 10 less than 29? Um, I would go down. 10 less. Where I go down or up? Okay, so what will it be? Um, 19. Right. Okay, I'm going to start at 29. And I want Oakland to tell me what is 10 more than 29. 10 more than 29. You tell me. Damn, that's right. 39. 39. Okay, John Madden. I want you to start with 47. What's 10 more? 10 more. 10 more. 
This is 45. Uh, no, I'm starting at 47. I'm sorry. Uh, Can you see? Not really. Uh, and what's, okay. I'm starting right here on 47. What's 10 more than 47? Oh, yeah. Use your chart if you need to. You got it? Find 47. Let's make 47. Everybody on your little chart. Okay. 57. 57 is 10 more. All right, look at 47 again. Diana, what's 10 less? That's 47. Find 47. Now, what's 10 less? Okay, 37. Gosh, we look for. Oh, good. I want you to look at 13. What's 10 less? Three. And Ariana, I want you to look at find uh, 22. What's 10 more than 22? Okay. All right. We all remember this more or less. You got it, Delina? You think you remember it? I'm going to give you this page. I want you to start working on it. And you have. If you go up, it's going to be more, 10 less, and if you go down, it's 10 more. Use your number chart to help you. Put your name and your number at the top of your paper first. Name and number. 